Can you use polymer clay instead of a kneaded eraser? Let's see. I've been trying different alternatives and hacks for kneaded erasers and this time we're testing polymer clay. I have this old but unopened pack of Cernit polymer clay. It is pretty hard, so I'm a little concerned, but let's see. Kneaded erasers are moldable, you can shape them by kneading them, but that doesn't quite work with this polymer clay since it's gotten so hard that it crumbles. Next, I'll test how well it erases. So I drew some lines and did some shading with a hard edge pencil and a softer 3B pencil and a charcoal stick. First up is just a regular eraser which does erase all of these but it leaves residue. Kneaded eraser also works but does not leave any eraser dust. I don't want to ruin this kneaded eraser as fast as my last one so I'll pick out the charcoal instead of kneading it in. Okay, the polymer clay is interesting. Some people apparently do think polymer clay is a good kneaded eraser alternative, but this one is just smudging the graphite around, even worse with the soft pencil and the charcoal. I also can't really knead it to clean it since it's so hard. At this point I thought maybe the issue is this particular brand of polymer clay or the fact that it had dried up so much. So I tried a different polymer clay. This one is Primo and it is opened but it's still much softer than the Cernit. It's pretty much as moldable as the kneaded eraser but does it work as an eraser? It seems to leave a lot of color residue and unfortunately it's not any better at erasing than the other polymer clay. You can knead it to clean it though, just like you would a kneaded eraser. I'm confused because apparently some people do use polymer clays as erasers. How? Has polymer clay worked for you as an eraser? Am I just using the wrong type of polymer clay? How about making a kneaded eraser from a normal eraser? Is it going to work? Check out this video here to find out. See you there.